Hi, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Ibrahim Umbar and today we'll be creating a hollow pipe in AutoCAD and uh, uh, we'll be creating this using uh, these layers. Uh, that is one layer would be the default layer and uh, one layer would be the center line, hidden line and dimension line. And uh, here you can see the uh, front view or the side view of this uh, uh, hollow pipe and the front view. So let's go to here new, I click here new and select your template and let's say I select this and I click this open. So first of all, uh, uh, I'll create a, a front view of this uh, pipe. So let's go to here circle and I click this center with a diameter and I will click somewhere here and uh, let's say uh, I will write 20 millimeters. Uh, just zoom it uh, and the inner would be let's say six, 16 millimeters so select this center with diameter and uh, snap this uh, center point of the circle and this time i will write uh, 16 okay so wall thickness would be uh, two millimeters uh, that is two millimeters here and uh, two millimeters here okay, next is uh, select this line tool and uh, uh, click here and let's say uh, click here and now uh, the uh, length of this uh, pipe would be uh, let's say 130 millimeters and just uh, uh, click escape okay, next is uh, click this line tool again and uh, click here and uh, just snap this point and uh, click here and one click here uh, now i will delete this line and this line okay now uh, uh, I'll join this line with this line and this with this. So click here line tool again, select this point, uh, this end point and uh, click enter to repeat this uh, line command and uh, click this end point, click this end point and then you are done with this. Uh, next is uh, I will create uh, another layer and that layer would be the hidden lines. So uh, I'll click this layer properties and uh, click here new and uh, just uh, uh, remove this and uh, uh, i'll write hidden and uh, i will change the color of this layer and that color would be let's say green click ok uh, next is uh, i'll also change the line type and uh, this line type would be hidden so first i will load the lines click here load and let's say i'll choose this uh, iso dash uh, click ok and now I will select this and click OK. Uh, next is uh, I will create another layer and that layer would be the center lines. So uh, click here new layer and uh, this time uh, just remove this text and this time I will write center line. And uh, the color would be uh, let's say red. Click OK. And also I will change the line type to center line. So first of all, I will load lines, uh, load line and uh, we have uh, so many kinds of uh, line types. And let's say I will choose uh, maybe this one. Uh, uh, click this, okay. And uh, now I have to select this, select this one and then click okay. Otherwise it won't work. Uh, uh, we can also change the uh, line weight but i think it's okay uh, also i will need another layer and that layer would be the dimensions so lastly i will add another layer click this new layer and uh, i will write uh, dim for dimensions and i will change the uh, color from red to blue and also i will change the line type to maybe this solid line click okay and click this so uh, Next is uh, uh, the thickness. Uh, I think the thickness was uh, uh, two mm. So first of all, uh, I will change the layer to let's say hidden and uh, select this line tool and uh, just uh, uh, select this uh, point and uh, click this and let's say click here and one click here and uh, I will delete this one. Uh, also, I need another line. So click this line and click here. Maybe click here and 
click here and now I will delete this portion. Uh, now you can see that uh, the scale is uh, uh, not proper. So uh, I will change the scale. Uh, select this line, right click, go to here properties and uh, select this line type scale and uh, I will change this to maybe 0 0.2. Uh, now you can see the preview. Uh, now I will use another property and that is called match properties. So I uh, click here, I click the source object, uh, source object is this one and uh, the object uh, to be replaced with is the uh, this one. And now you can see your header lines and uh, the thickness would be a 2 mm, a 2 mm here and a 2 mm here. Uh, now I will write uh, a center line. So click this line tool and let's say the center line would be uh, from here to uh, here. Uh, I have to change the layer from uh, hidden to center line. So select this one and uh, I'll go to here layer and select this line. Uh, I can also change the scale, but I think it's okay. So uh, first of all, I have to change the layer and uh, I'll change this to center line. And now uh, uh, I'll select this line tool and uh, I'll make a line, uh, let's say, uh, here to here and another line let's say uh, here to here now you can see that the center line is not uh, looking as a center line because its scale is quite large so select this line and uh, just right click and click here properties and now i will change the scale to maybe uh, 0 0.5 and now you can see its uh, preview uh, I'll use same match properties tool. So I'll go to here properties, match properties, select this source object and select this. And now just uh, select this midpoint and click here. Uh, now uh, uh, I'll use another uh, layer and that would be the dimension layer. So first of all, I'll change this to a dimension and uh, the length uh, was I think 130 millimeters. So uh, first of all, I'll change this to uh, linear and click this dimension tool, uh, select this and uh, select this one and uh, just drag it over here. Uh, you can change these settings. Uh, let's go to here uh, dimension, uh, dimension style and now you can uh, change your uh, uh, dimension settings over here, right? Uh, okay. Uh, now, uh, uh, let's say I want to dimension it, but uh, I have to change this from linear to maybe uh, diameter. So let's click here dimension tool and click here. So uh, let's say uh, I need a reference line with the leader. So uh, I'll write uh, dim in the command line and click this uh, dimension style and uh, go to here modify and uh, uh, you can uh, you can have multiple options here and uh, let's say the text uh, edit symbols and arrows fits uh, primary units so uh, i'll go to here text and uh, i'll change the text alignment from align with the dimension line to iso standard and click this ok just close it and now you can see uh, a reference line with the leader uh, also i need uh, another dimension and uh, click here and maybe click somewhere here. So uh, we are done with this. Uh, you can uh, hide the grids. Click here. Uh, next is let's say I want to make a PDF of this uh, drawing. So just right click here model and click this page setup manager and uh, click this modify. And uh, in the printer plotter settings, uh, click this AutoCAD PDF for general documentation and the paper size which is selected is ISO A4 which is uh, 210 by 297 you can change your paper size here and uh, let's say what to plot is window and I will make a window here uh, click here and uh, click here and uh, fit to paper and center to plot click this preview and now you can see your preview, uh, your drawing preview. Let's say I can change this uh, from portrait to landscape 
and now I can uh, see the uh, preview. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we can add a uh, title block. Uh, we can add a, a title block here. We can add some instructions, and uh, uh, but I don't have a, a title block right now. Uh, you can add your uh, title block, your uh, logo, or the information here. Just uh, click here, and now I can save my uh, PDF uh, in AutoCAD. Uh, I can also print this file, and uh, I can uh, select a plotter here. Uh, I don't have a plotter right now, but uh, let's say if your plot, uh, if your plotter or printer is connected to your PC, so you can uh, select here and then uh, you can print your document from uh, uh, AutoCAD. So uh, I'm uh, I'm only uh, making PDF of this drawing. So click this OK and click close. Uh, well, we have a very interesting option here as well, and you can see that. Uh, I have used uh, four layers to create this drawing and uh, you can also uh, see this drawing here with uh, four colors and uh, uh, let's say I want to uh, uh, I want to have only a drawing with a monochrome color only a black color so click here and click this monochrome and click this yes and now uh, uh, all my layers would be changed to black uh, now you can see the preview so uh, let's click here and uh, click ok uh, ok lastly I will save my file to PDF so right click here click this and uh, let's click here ok and uh, now you can save your file with PDF you can see your file type here and uh, let's say I will change this to uh, uh, hollow pipe and click save I will change the destination to maybe desktop and click this ok so uh, we are done with this uh, you can see your uh, uh, files preview in uh, PDF so uh, that's it for uh, uh, today's uh, tutorial uh, i hope you like it and if you have any questions uh, any queries related to this or any other tutorial in my list uh, you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos thank you